All right, it does appear that we have a quorum, so we can get started. We, uh, we want to be reminded, though, of the Chief Justice coming at 2. We do not want to disrespect the Chief Justice or members of the court. So uh, hopefully our, our questions can be to point. Uh, we've got um, one of our former members presenting a bill. So at this time, I'm going to recognize Senator Hudgens, served in this committee for six years. And Senator Hudgens, if you could offer our invocation. Father, well, thank you that uh, we have the freedom in this country to uh, assemble ourselves together and to do the people's business. Father, I thank you for those uh, soldiers that are willing to fight to defend this freedom and to spread democracy around this world. Father, my information is, is that members of this committee are having, uh, have had tragedies in their family, and I pray that you would be with those individuals and that you would be that comfort uh, to them. I pray that you would be their sustainer in this time when, when uh, situations are, are bad. Everybody has to say they're bad. So I just pray for that. I, I pray for wisdom for this committee. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Senator. And you are now recognized to present your bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the committee, I bring to you Senate Bill 386, which is a, uh, a redistribution of the geographical territory that uh, is presently comprised of the 46th, the 47th, and the 49th Senate districts. Uh, I've, I've got a, a packet of information from you. The first thing is the, I guess, I don't know what order you have them. There's a proposed Georgia Senate districts 46, 47, 49, and then there's another colored map, which are the current. These are the are the uh, districts as the federal judges drew them in 2000, I think it was 2004. Um, the next page that stapled together are the statistics of the current and the new, and you can see that uh, we, like the federal judges, have complied with the plus or minus 1% deviation. We're less than plus or minus 1%. Um, we also have complied with uh, the Justice Department vote or the Federal Voting Rights Act of 1965, we have not diluted minority voting strength. And I'm going to go through these, these uh, attachments very quickly. These are the, the things that I'm responding to with this, uh, with this map. Your next page is a resolution drafted in 2001 by the Madison County uh, Board of Commissioners and this was adopted on the 9th of April, April of 2001, and it was executed on the 11th of April on, in 2001. And um, what they did is they had in their county commission meeting, they prepared this resolution to be presented at the uh, reapportionment public hearing that was held in Oconee County in uh, sometime latter part of April or the early part of May. And they've asked three things. They asked that they keep Madison County. This is down further down in the in the the uh, the page. It says now, therefore, be it resolved that the governing authority in Madison County hereby endorses and urges the members of the committee to apportion voting districts that would one keep Madison County intact within one district of the Georgia House of Representatives with the remainder of that district composed of the entirety of Oglethorpe County and a portion, and a portion of athens Clark County. Second thing they ask is keep Madison County intact within one district in the Georgia Senate with the remainder of that district composed of counties and, popu of, and populations of similar characteristics and interests. And three, keep Madison County intact within one district of the United States House of Representatives with that district also containing the other two counties in the Athens metropolitan area, namely Oconee and athens Clark, When the reapportionment committee uh, came up with maps and they were passed, none of these three things were accomplished. Madison County was separated uh, from athens Clark County in the U.S. Congress map. They were divided into two Senate districts and they were divided into three House districts. Last year, we, the, the, the House and the Senate, passed new maps which, which accomplished three, which uh, 
uh, foot Madison County and with Athens, Clark County, and with Oconee County. So three has been accomplished. This bill would ac accomplish two, uh, the second request, and the first request is up to y'all. We don't, you know, we don't apportion the, uh, the House and the House long-term uh, standing agreement doesn't apportion the Senate. And so I'm asking you to adopt this map. The next uh, handout you have is a request in March of 3 of 2004, a letter that the Madison County Chamber of Commerce sent to the governor asking, and if you look in the second paragraph of this letter, it says, as governor of Georgia, I hope you in some way help us to be placed as a whole county again. We thank you for your staying on correcting the unjust way the district lines were drawn, and I won't read the rest. So. If this was the Madison County Chamber of Commerce, I got a copy of this letter, but I didn't even know it was being written. Um, so this was done in 2004, and this was during the time that the federal judges were redrawing uh, the maps. The last uh, thing I show you is that I'm responding to is Athens Chamber of Commerce, Athens Area Chamber of Commerce, legislative priorities for 2006. If you look at that top, section which says education, the last bullet point says that they support any redistricting effort to increase our representation at the state capitol as one of the largest and most educated regions in Georgia. Now the reason they're asking that, if you look to the last page in your attachment, these are the counties in Georgia by their 19 or their 2000 census. And if you look down, number 14 is Clark County. They're the 14th largest county in the state of Georgia, population-wise. If you take the 13 counties that are larger in population, add the number of Senate districts that impact those counties, you come up with 45 senators. If you divide 45 by 13, you come with 3.46 senators per county. You say, well, yeah, but look at number 11, Hall County. They only have one senator. They only have one senator in this federal judge's map. Prior to this, there were four senators in Hall County. I represented part of it. Casey Cagle represented part of it. Renee Unterman represented part of uh, Hall County. And Carol Jackson represented Hall County in the state senate. And I talked to Kit Dunlap, who is the president of the Hall County Chamber, and she said she would much rather be represented by four senators than just by one senator. Said uh, the one reason is when we had four senators, we had a representative on 14 different Senate committees. And as you know, the committee level is where a lot of the work is done in both the House and the Senate. I've served in both. And, and she felt that they had a better impact to impact, a better chance to impact legislation that was good for Hall County when they had 14 uh, members of 14 different Senate committees. And uh, this, of course, one of the, the Senate seats is going to be uh, vacant in Clark County if the senator from the 46 decides to qualify for the, the uh, Commissioner of Agriculture. But at least we will have uh, multiple uh, committees represented if this new map is, is uh, adopted. So with that, in essence of time, um, I'll be glad to answer any questions from members of the committee. Thank you, Senator Hudgens. Just a reminder to the committee, Senator Hudgens did allude to the longstanding practice that the General Assembly has had, that the House does not redistrict the Senate and the Senate does not redistrict the House. But because this is a general bill, it does have to go through both chambers. So with, with, that, with that said, and remembering that the Chief Justice goes on in about 32 minutes, does any member have a question for Senator Hudgens? If you'd pressure, pressure light. I believe the light I saw first was uh, Representative Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Senator Hudgens, uh, this um, AM 1812-1277 
Is this what you're calling? And I see it now, the Fair Madison map. Uh, this that's, is, not, not, that's not mine. I'm not addressing that. Okay. So yours is LC185043. My map is, uh, and I don't, I don't see a, an LC number on it. It's proposed Georgia Senate District 46, 47, 49. It's SFC AMD 47P2. I see it. I see it. The, the blue covered, blue covered. Um, uh, I don't have that. Senate um, Bill 386. No changes yes, to that. Senate Bill 386. That's what you're presenting That's today. What I'm presenting. I just want a clarification on that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Representative Smith. Um, Representative Massey Reese. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Senator, um, I did not have the copies of the letters from your commissioner in your chamber they were somehow in my packet. I understand they were, but I, I did not find them here. Your request from um, the Board of Commissioners was made in 2001 when right. this committee was considering the maps. Right. Um, did that Board of Commissioners um, make that same request to the judges when uh, the judges were considering the matter? They did not. Uh, in 2004? Right. Um, how about your um, Chamber of Commerce? Um, did, did they make any requests uh, to the judges? They did. Mm -hmm. they, uh, that letter was dated uh, March 3rd, 2004 uh, to the governor. Um, they thought the governor I guess would have an impact on the legislative redistricting that the okay. uh, federal courts were doing, and that's who they thought. they, Being the chief executive officer of the state of Georgia, that's who they appealed to to put Madison County back home. All right. So you had the request in 2001 to this committee when we were traveling around the right. state hearing um, our request and discussion. Right. from the Board of uh, Commissioners in Madison County. Did you have any correspondence from uh, Clark County? I uh -huh. don't recall. I was on that committee. I attended that public so hearing. So was I. I, uh, I took notes. I went to every public hearing around the state, took notes, every person that has spoken, what they said, and I did not, uh, I cannot find those notes, what happened to them. But I don't recall whether Clark County made a request. I know that... Uh, that multiple, multiple people on both sides of the aisle made requests that would put Clark County as the center of a congressional district, and that was totally ignored. They, what ended up was this uh, district that that uh, started out in Athens and had a narrow little neck down through Oglethorpe County and went to Augusta and then to Savannah. Mm -hmm. um, seems to me that there's a great deal of county pride throughout the state and that it, it is important to keep counties whole. Um, I, um, I do have some concerns, um, Senator and Chairman, um, that we are looking at changing maps just every few years to suit whatever uh, purpose is immediately evident there. Um, I, I do feel that people are getting... Um, uh, confused, um, the uh, citizens in your area have had a different map every two years, it appears, well, for several years. Uh, this part of Clark County is the part, essentially there's a small difference because there's a half a precinct that I did not represent for six years when I was in the House, but other than that, it's the same area that I represented for six years while I was in the House of Representatives. And I represented for two years uh, and have not represented for, uh, this will be the second year, Oglethorpe County. I represented Madison County, all of Madison County for six years, so I'm not a stranger to the people that, uh, that I'm picking up. Again, Mr. Chairman. Well, I have... One, how, can you, one more question? Quickly. While I do have concerns about changing the maps, I do have an amendment I would uh, put forward at the appropriate time. Thank you. Uh, Representative Marine, I believe you're, you're next. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chairman Hodgins, why now? 
Why now? Why now? We we were looking at redistricting when we already did the whole state a couple of years ago, and uh, everybody was happy. And, and please, uh, I've been trying to accomplish putting Madison County whole since 2001. I I I went to the chairman of the county commission and I said, if y'all want Madison County to be kept whole. Uh, you need to pass a resolution asking the the reapportionment committee to do that, which they did. They they included the House, the Senate, and they wanted to be included with Clark County, like I went over, and I won't waste time on that. In uh, in 2004, you said we redistricted. We didn't redistrict. The federal courts Report. redistricted. Mm -hmm. We refused mm -hmm. to re. re I'll, I'll narrow that down. The House refused to redistrict in 2004. This would not have been done this way if if the if we had redistricted like you stated in 2004 and this is the way the courts drew the map. I attempted at that time to put Madison County back whole with a petition as an individual to the courts to put Madison County back whole. I did not include that, but I'll be glad to give you a copy mm -hmm. of it. Uh, asking them to do it, but the courts just just blanketly re refused to do anything that an individual. They made some concessions to the Democrat Party. They made some concessions to the Republican Party. But if any individuals asked for any changes, they just did a blanket refusal. And so this is the first time that I could do it, but I've been trying to do this since 2001, so that's why now. Is that yes? That's uh, that all. All right. Thank you, uh, Representative Beasley Teague. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to know: Can I get a copy of the maps and the paperwork for this committee? Uh, your folder, I believe, is down this way right on the end here. over here. We can, we can, we can, we can bring it to you. Thank you. Uh, committee Secretary. Uh, yes, Sen Senator Hudgens. Do you, I, I recall the redistricting as well. I was in the House, and I do recall um, that the judges uh, were quite irritated with the House that we did not come out with a map. Um, do you recall that they um, were pointedly and expressly said that the maps were temporary? Right. That, and that uh, do you also recall that they pointedly and expressly said that redistricting absolutely should be a part of the, ju of the uh, political process and not the judicial process? Right. Um, that's all. Thank you. Um, right. To respond to your question, Senate Bill 386, and I've talked to legislative counsel about that, does what the judges, the federal judges, told us to do it does. While it only changes the 46th, 47th, and 49th Senate District, it does adopt the rest of that state map and makes that a map adopted by the General Assembly. Now, I don't think it does anything with adopting the House map. I think that's going to be up to the House, but it does go ahead and comply with their instructions for us to adopt a, a statewide map. Thank you. I actually did have one more question, Senator Hudgen. Um, does the map that you've proposed comply with the strict standards that the judges uh, followed? Yes, The less than 1 percent deviation? Yes, ma'am. And, and the, I think the first page, it shows the statistical deviation. Uh, it goes from negative 0.74 percent to a positive 0.89 percent. And also, if you'll look at the black voting age population, uh, it is actually increased in the 46th and 47th district, and it is decreased by 0.02 percent, which would be 0 0.0002. Uh, and so that that is a, a really an insignificant uh, reduction. So would would you say that the math in no way, shape, or form? mimics what was done in uh, for the 2002 maps in which the deviation um, went upwards towards 10 percent, created multi-member districts, right. 
and, um, and diluted African-American vote. Well, the Senate map did not create multi-member districts because the ah. Georgia State Constitution specifically says that That's the right. Senate is to be apportioned in 56 individual districts. And so that prevented that from happening. But, but one of the Senate districts that included Madison County or part of Madison County went from the western part of Madison County all the way to LJ, and uh, which uh, the the representative Ralston knows very well where LJ is, and th this uh, uh, was one of the maps that was ruled unconstitutional. Thank you. Thank you. I see no further questions from the committee. And Senator Hudgens, if you leave, you'll be only 10 minutes late to your other Here committee. My banking committee meeting. <laughs> Thank you, and I urge you to uh, pass Senate Bill 386 out to the Rules Committee, and and uh, then let them pass it on to the to the uh, House floor. Thank you, and thank you for thank you for, for, thank you for coming back to the House. Thank you. It's a we, pleasure. We, we we miss you on the committee. Thank you. Uh, we'd like to uh, recognize Representative Keith Hurd to comment on the proposal. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of this. And if, 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 excuse me uh, for interrupting, but because this went a little bit longer and we did start late, which we apologize for, if, sure. could you do it in two minutes? Uh, no, I can't, but I'll attempt. If, if, I appreciate that. Because um, I do believe Representative Massey Reese has another uh, substitute yes, proposal that she will need time to explain. That is correct. Thank you. Um, members of this committee, I guess I, I've served in this house 14 years. I'm a member of a small, compact community. Um, and I've never seen where another member of another, another delegation would introduce legislation that affects somebody else's district. There are just certain rules that we have to have in the House and in the Senate. At least we should. We need to have these rules because who best know what's best for their community than the folks who are elected by the people of that community. Simple and plain. Um, we meet once, well actually twice a year with our commissioners, like a lot of you do, to, for them to prepare their legislative agenda. Uh, this year we met, uh, we met on November the 1st, uh, Tuesday at 7 p.m. And um, we actually talked about what we wanted, what they wanted us to bring forth as a, as a delegation. This was not on the radar screen. No one even brought it up. There were other things that they're interested in, like TADs and uh, transportation bills and some of the ACCG agenda and M M uh, GMA agenda, but this was not on the agenda. What we normally do, like a lot of you do, which is something that's a little different, we vote on local pieces of legislation as a group, it's House and Senate because we want to take care of whatever differences we have right there and not have to come before you like I'm, I'm doing at this time. And I, I, I do apologize. I, I apologize on the behalf of the people of athens Clark County that we have to do this. But I've been, I've been given no other force as the um, lead person of our delegation but to do this. I'll just mention this in closing that um, you've seen all the news clippings. You've seen our mayor's been here. Uh, Last I have is a resolution from the Mayor and Council of athens Clark County, and I would like to read this. The Commission of athens Clark County hereby adopts the following as a resolution. Whereas the Mayor and Commission of athens Clark County annually prepares a list of the priorities, priority, priority legislative items to present to the local delegation of the General Assembly to request the delegation to support such legislative items. And whereas the 2006 list of priorities uh, priorities, legislative items presented by the Mayor and Commission of athens Clark County to the local delegation did not consider or recommend any forms of redistricting uh, for athens Clark County, whereas the Mayor and Commission of Clark County were unaware that any redistrict legislation concerning athens Clark County would be introduced in the 2006 legislative, agenda, uh, legislative section of the General Assembly, whereas citizens of athens Clark County were not consulted informed or notified of redistricting of athens Clark County will be part of a 2006 legislative agenda of the General Assembly. Now, therefore, it is hereby resolved that the mayor and the commission of athens Clark County, based on the foregoing reason, oppose adoption of Senate Bill 386, which redistricts and divides 
athens clark county into two senate districts without the benefit of any local discussion input or consideration on such legislation this 25th day of january the mayor um, heidi davidson clerk gene spratt i would like to present that to you all we always talk about local rule local control who better it's best to know what's best for those individuals locally than the elected people in that district in that community and not only that you know it's it's really simple you all sometimes we make things complicated it really is right is right wrong is wrong and one thing my grandmother told me she said two wrongs don't make a right yes there are some things that may have happened in 2002 and 2000 but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about a map that was drawn by the judges, not by us. That the governor said was a, um, in fact, he said in the, um, February 2604 that great news uh, for the constitutional principle of one person, one vote, said Governor Sonny Perdue. It's great news for many communities that have been torn apart by current district maps. And with that, you all, I ask that you would use the wisdom. I respect the wisdom of this community. But we know what is right, and we know what is wrong. And uh, I just ask that you do the right thing for athens Clark County. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Hurd. Uh, Representative Kidd, do you have something you could add to that? Okay, thank you. Um, we have uh, the, senator's, um, the senator's proposal before us. Do we have a motion? Representative Ralston uh, moves to pass. Is there a second? Uh, one moment. It is seconded by uh, Vice Chairman. Uh, any discussion? Um, Representative Massey Reese. I move to amend, Mr. Chairman. Your motion is uh, a substitute motion, I believe. Is that correct? I think that's correct. You have a, a substitute motion because you have a plan in front of us, I think? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, if you'll look at AM 18-1277. And Blake, is that the one that's on the, on the screen? Okay. Why don't, why don't you? Can you put up, pull up hers? Do we have it? So it again. Okay. So that it hadn't been, been done. Okay. It's on the desk. It's on the desk. It's on the desk. So but okay. it's not on the screen. Well, not on the screen. Um, the, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead and tell us about your proposal as briefly as you can, please. Okay. I move to amend Senate Bill 386 by striking line 26 of page one and inserting in its place the following. Plan name, Fair Madison. Plan type, Senate. User, staff, administrator, H114. Which, by striking the description of senatorial districts 46, 47, and 49 contained in the attachments to said bill and inserting in its place the description of senatorial districts 46, 47, and 49, which are attached to this amendment and made a part hereto, hereof, and further identified as plan name Fair Madison, plan type Senate, user staff administrator, H114. Okay, and, and what, what in a nutshell, does your amendment do as far as the map? What in a nutshell this amendment would do would keep um, not only Madison County whole, which has been requested by our senator, uh, but also keeps Clark County whole. Uh, it complies with the federal courts with having um, less than 1% um, deviation, and also it complies with the Voting Rights Act. And it keeps 97% of the people in these counties uh, in the same uh, Senate districts as they are now and actually results in one less split county than we currently have. 
uh, in Senate Districts 46, 47, and 49. Great. Thank you. And did we get a second on that? Yes. There, there is a second. Uh, Representative Beasley Teague seconds. All right. Um, let's, uh, all right, we're going to vote on Representative Massey Reese's amendment. Uh, all those in favor, signify by raising your hand. All those opposed, like sign. Six. The amendment is lost. We're back to the main question, uh, the adoption of uh, Senate Bill 386. All those in favor, signify by raising your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. All those opposed, like sign. One, two, three. On the passage, uh, six to three, the we will, the committee will be recommending uh, do pass. We do thank you for your time today. Meeting is adjourned.